to yet another edition of Spotlight. My guest in the studio this evening, the well-known broadcaster and personality, Clark McKay. Good evening, Clark. Welcome. Hi, Paul. Nice to meet you. Clacky, if I may call you that, if you don't mind. Yeah, please. Makes you feel young again. <laughs> Probably know you most for your TV appearance show built on pot roast, your radio shows such as the Clacker Jack show, the Generation Game, uh, the Early Morning Rise and Shine Breakfast show. What, what brings you to South East Africa? Well, it's, um, it's a long story. I don't think I'll bore you with it, to tell you the truth. South West Africa before, and also um, up north a little bit. And uh, I spoke to Peter Merrill, who's the superintendent of the New English Service, on radio, that is, of course. And he said, well, uh, let's get together, because we're starting a new service. And I like a challenge, and I like new people and new countries, and I'm a bit restless, and I thought, that's not a bad idea. My little old promotions business in Johannesburg was just getting off the ground, so I wasn't losing too much there, even though there was a bit of television going and everything else. And uh, I said, this is it. So I came up, discussed it, and now I've got to, I've got to work for a living up here now. <laughs> so that's why I'm in Southwest Africa, and it's a great pleasure to be here too. Getting right back to the beginning, where actually did you start broadcasting? In Sydney, in Australia. That was uh, some time ago, not too long ago. Uh, 30, 40 years ago. <laughs> well, it depends how old you are, you know. That okay. was uh, way back in 1942. Okay, we won't go into any, any details as regards how long ago it was or what. I can remember them, don't worry, I remember all the details. <laughs> <laughs> From Australia, you moved to South Africa.